Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, November the 28th. It's the last week after Pentecost and week seven in the Psalm Cycle. Thanks for joining me. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. If it had not been God who was on our side, then they would have swallowed us up quickly. Alleluia. Psalms 124, 125, and 126. And please recite them with me. Alleluia, if it had not been God who was on our side, now let Israel say, if it had not been God who was on our side when they rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us up quickly when their anger was kindled against us. Then the waters would have swept over us and the floods would have gone over us. Then the raging waters would have gone over us. Blessed are you, O God, who did not give us as prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowler. Our help is in the name of God Most High, who made heaven and earth. Alleluia. They that trust in you shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so you, our God, are round about your people, now and forever. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands for evil. Do good, O God, to those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. As for such as turn to crooked ways, you shall take them away with the workers of evil. But peace shall be upon Israel. Alleluia. When God Most High restored the fortunes of Zion, it was like we were dreaming, our mouths filled with laughter and our tongues singing. Then the heathen said, God Most High has done great things for them. You have done great things for us, O God, and we rejoice. Restore our fortunes, O beloved God, like the streams of the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. They that go out weeping, bearing precious seed, shall come home rejoicing, bringing their sheaves. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. If it had not been God who was on our side, then they would have swallowed us up quickly. Alleluia. The first letter of Peter, chapter 1, beginning at verse 13. Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Discipline yourselves. Set all your hope on the grace that Jesus Christ will bring you when he is revealed. Like obedient children, do not be conformed to the desires that you formerly had in ignorance. Instead, as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in all your conduct. For it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. If you invoke as father the one who judges impartially according to each person's work, live in fear during the time of your exile. You know that you were ransomed from the futile conduct inherited from your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ like that of a lamb without defect or blemish. He was destined before the foundation of the world, but was revealed at the end of the ages for your sake. Through him you have come to trust in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your trust and hope are in God. Now that you've purified your souls by your obedience to the truth, so that you have genuine mutual affection, love, one another deeply from the heart. You have been born anew, not of perishable, but of imperishable seed, through the living and enduring word of God. 
for all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers and the flower fails, but the word of the Most High endures forever. That word is the good news that was announced to you. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Most dear God, we rejoice in your blessings and praise your glory. You've done great things and we thank you forever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia.